Welcome to Storytime with Nana Pam. Hi everyone, it's Nana Pam. Today I will be reading Scooby-Doo, A Haunted Halloween. I'd like to give a big shout out to James from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Enjoy today's scary book. It's the night before Halloween, and Scooby and the gang are on their way to visit Velma's aunt. Her town, Banning Junction, is celebrating its 100th anniversary. Only 23 hours and 59 minutes until Halloween night. But when the gang arrives, they discover the townspeople aren't very happy to see them. Zoinks! Freeze! Turn around and go back. You are not welcome here. Velma's Aunt Meg and Uncle Evan recognize the kids just in time. Wait, it's Velma! Sorry, we didn't mean to scare you. It's just that someone's been burning our cornfields. Aunt Meg and Uncle Evan bring the kids back to their house. Their daughter rushes out to greet them. Hi, Cousin Marcy. Long time no see. Why is everyone so scared? The town's founder, Hank Banning, has come back to haunt us. Hank Banning cursed our town. He swore to return in 100 years. That's this Halloween. The 100th anniversary party will be huge. I think the ghost intends to ruin it. Here, Fred, let me show you to your room. Hmm. Meanwhile, out in the cornfields, splash, chop, burn. Oh no, the cornfield is on fire. Let's get help. The next morning, the gang hears about the fire, so they go to investigate. The only footprints in the field are the ones we made. A hungry cat steals Scooby Street. Like, Stop, thief! Shaggy and Scooby chase the cat up the water tower. Zoinks! Somebody made a scary face in the cornfield! The gang climbs the water tower to get a better look. Velma peeks through her binoculars. Jankies! Look at those patterns! They're all traditional symbols of Halloween! A clue! What's this glove doing here? Forget the glove! What made those weird patterns in the field? When the gang climbs down from the water tower, a creepy-looking woman is waiting for them. The ghost of Hank Banning is behind all of this. I bet Marcy is behind this. Marcy is innocent. You're just jealous. Gang splits up to look for clues. Shaggy and Scooby head to the old woman's house. Like I bet that creepy old lady is behind all of this. Didn't your mamas ever teach you to knock? Meanwhile, Fred, Daphne, and Velma investigated the library. Hank Banning was mayor for 30 years. Then he was voted out of office. He died on Halloween night, swearing to return and seek his revenge. As they leave the library, the gang bumps into Marcy. She's studying for her electrical engineering class. Where were you this morning? Today is my birthday, but I was working at the mall. I'm on the security tape. See for yourself. Front of the girls head to the mall. The security tape clearly shows Marcy working. That night, the gang explores the cornfield. Come on, guys, let's find some clues. Jeepers, look at that scarecrow, it's alive. Suddenly, all the scarecrows come alive. The gang heads for the old barn, but the doors are locked. Like, run for your lives. Yikes, we're cornered. Scooby-Doo, to the rescue! Jankies, the scarecrows are robots. Someone's using a remote control on these robots. That gives me an idea. Like, why do I have a bad feeling about this? The next thing they know, Shaggy and Scooby are disguised as robots. They try to blend in. Meanwhile, in the mystery machine, Velma monitors the remote control transmission. I've got it! The signal is coming from inside Town Hall! Over at Town Hall, the anniversary party is in full swing until a ghost appears. I am the ghost of Hank Banning. Prepare to meet your doom! Fred, Velma, and Daphne throw pumpkins at the ghost, but the pumpkins fly right through him. 
The scarecrow robots start to attack the guests. Shaggy and Scooby chase them away with apples. Two scarecrows close in on Shaggy. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Scooby swings to the rescue and saves his best buddy. The ghost is a projection. The gang checks out the projection room, but nobody's there. Who would go to all this trouble to upstate Halloween? Velma has an idea. The gang heads to the water tower and catches Marcy red-handed. Marcy, why did you do this? Nobody remembers my birthday. It's always overshadowed by Halloween. Velma, how did you know it was me? Remember the glove from the water tower? I saw one just like it on the security tape. Marcy learned how to build the scarecrows in her electrical engineering class. Then she programmed them to burn Halloween patterns into the cornfields. Thanks to Velma, we still have time to go trick-or-treating. After a night of Halloween mystery, the gang jumps into the mystery machine. As they drive away, they pass Marcy on the side of the road. Lucky for her, she only got trash duty. I hope you enjoyed today's book. Until next time, Nana Pam is sending you big hugs. Have a great day.